the manifestation of lust. So, what do we think lust looks like, huh? I think we go with the tentacle of lust. The awkward pauses so, you know, we get our giggies in there. I think you know where we're going with the tentacle of lust. Alright, welcome back to another day of debauchery here, as we continue to worship the Great One. As the flock continues to spread its wings across the lands over here, at the end of last episode, we peeked into the old city. And we found out that the old city is gonna basically rock us and rock us good, so we gotta have to wait a little bit. So what I did here is off camera, go back to the city. I don't, I don't want to do this. Get out of here. <laughs> don't force me to fight him. Go back to the city. I decided to come back over here and grind a couple of fanatics so we can upgrade our ritual sites and also our miracles. So if we come over here to miracle, we'll see that um I think we already had that one, but I have enough now to get the stronger drink. Um, if we come to storytelling circle, I know I upgraded this off camera. We got both of them now, and I also upgraded the fanatic thing once. So now when we do the fanatic ritual thing, we get more fanatics, so we get to increase things a bit faster. It's very expensive to upgrade, but I think over time it'll definitely make it worthwhile for us. Now, in the time that I was doing that, though, our first devotee, Mary. Mary hid old age. Old um age is a thing here in this game. I was not aware of that. 42, apparently. A disciple retires at age 45. 45, boys. Three years and she's gone. So at year... Third... <laughs> Three, I know how to do I know how to... I know how to add. At year 12. <laughs> That's it for Mary. And we also have a couple of level 5s. These guys might be a good startup point to... You see that? 50. These guys might be a good... We have a 40 here. I guess we could do that one. Um, to kind of get us ready for this old city issue here, right? People were telling me, use Mary in the middle, because apparently um, the middle has the big focus in the game, so... Um, for combat, so we'll put her in the middle just to kind of test this out. And we're definitely want to make Ni and Michi our go-to people. Let's see, you guys are attracted to feminine, masculine, feminine. Well, fortunately, we do have a two feminines and one masculine, so that's fairly good. We'll start this mission off over here. This one should be more of an even fight. We'll see how these stubborn elders, though, what their abilities kind of do against us. Our cunning's always high. Purple haze? Okay, look, dog. Let's let's keep the purple haze out of this combat, all right? We're not here trying to light it up. The feeble are doomed. Look, look, oh, you have dazed me. What are, what are you doing to Michi? You leave Michi alone. Okay. Oh, Mary. A one-hit knockout, a one-round knockout. I thought things were looking pretty bad there for a second. Michi was just getting rocked to no other, and then Mary was like, You want to retire me right now? <laughs> no, Mary, I'm sorry. You're not going anywhere. We have a miracle charge up, too. Good job, Mary. Got level four. Got level up. We are now, the next thing coming up is going to be a small cold. We're level four now. I'm thinking that's the one. Or we could go lucky with meditation. We do have a lot of morale attacks too in our squad, so getting lucky with them could be useful. Let's go with the medication. Or me meditation, not a medication site. <laughs> you go over there, you apparently just get pumped with a bunch of drugs. Um, so let's go ahead and put this right next to our little ritual area right there. All right, look at this. Okay, so that's been created now. Let's go and do... Dedicate a statue to lust in one of your miracle rituals. Improves all miracles, charisma, and cunning. And I believe Charisma is Storytelling. Charisma, yes. And Tavern is HP and Devotion. Knowledge and more. Yeah, yeah. So I think we definitely add this to Storytelling Circle. Assuming this works the way I'm thinking. Yeah, it should. Okay, so we're going to add it here. Okay. Ooh. The Manifestation of Lust. So what do we think Lust looks like, huh? I think we go with the Tentacle of Lust. The awkward pauses, so, you know, we get our giggies in there. I think you know where we're going with the tentacle of lust. Let's go with that one right there. <laughs> Let's bring in the new squad over here. What do we got? Who wants to join? Oh, check this out! The bloodline of Mary! Oh, well, we gotta get you. You're the bloodline of Mary! And Mary's been one of our most... I mean, she was our founder. Bloodline of the Prophet. Extra plus ten fate. She has been from a little small fledgling, she has been raised to just worship us. Absolutely want to get her. 
I guess I could just reveal, reveal all, but I'm, I'm milking it, you know, I'm over here milking it. Get out of here, look at this guy. Look at this guy with his ability one and one, get out of here! Ranking good, good knowledge, good cunning. Um, we do have enough to obviously bring Koali in, and we're gonna bring Koali in. Initiate a disciple. We have two, so we could add this person here and be fine, but we ain't gonna do that, we're gonna bring in NECA. Vampire Squid Totem, that sounds amazing, look, it's, it's a squid with little fangs on it too. <laughs> Alright, um, no, we're not saying goodbye to Mary just yet, but we do need to make room for NECA. So, Kermana or Seafuck? How have you guys been, um, you know, working out for me here? You are a beast walker, which means most of your attacks are based on cunning. Your cunning is seven. All right? Seapok, you are a zealot. Most of your attacks, I believe, are based on charisma. And you have a charisma of ten. Ooh, okay. I think we know who we're saying goodbye to. Kermana? Get out of here. Get out of here, Kermana. Send to the egg. Yeah! Get him moving. Neka, welcome aboard. Oh, 30 of 30. Mm, beautiful. I think, though, I want to get our, our our bloodline person, Mary. Oh, we do have the miracle charge, do we not? Yes, we do. Well, we'll do it when we get back. So, um, these will be unguided teams, so I think we definitely want to get... Probably not the main focus of the group, but definitely in there. So, Koali, let's get you over here. Neka, and you guys are going to go in there with... Um, Michi's a bit tired out right now. Seapok! Seapok is, you know, one of the persons that are gonna have to probably pick up the pace once Mary goes down. And Nei and Nichi as well. But now let's go with Nei. Let's go with Nei. You're kind of like the backup person here after Mary for now. Let's start the sacrament off. Alright. Oh my god, blue people! That's a pretty cool little totem on your back there. Our team goes first, absolutely. What do we got here? We got attacks, performance, and oh, Koali's nervous. Wait a minute! Excuse me, Koali, you come from a... You come from HP. Okay, that's good. You come from a, 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 a... My first devotee. You cannot be nervous in fights. What is this all about? I'm gonna have to have a talk with Mary and see how'd you raise this child. <gasps> what is happening here? Hold up. Press space. Okay, hold up a second here. This lets me... Inexperienced and too nervous to act. Might doze off. Okay, let's assume that maybe once she levels up, we get her a class, this goes away. I hope that's the case, because that could be very, very bad. Koali, I expect a lot from you. You're gonna be the person to take over as Mary's spot, essentially. Don't let Nay hear that, because nay has been vying for that position, too, but I'm just saying. There we go, okay, this time it worked out. Okay, I hope that goes bye-bye. If it doesn't go bye-bye, then we might have some problems here going forward. So that should get you... Classes, okay. Chieftain. Ooh, and she's got a giant totem to beat people over the head with. They use rally abilities to motivate and, and buff your disciples, but also strike their totem. They can attack after a rally ability to set examples. So, might, definitely. Um, physical damage, ancestral, might. Cunning, might, yes, I think that is perfect. Koali, you will be our very first chieftain. I don't think we've ever had one of those before, so... There it is. And Neka, what do you bring to the table? You also bring cunning over everything else, so, um... Guardian. Guardian requires cunning. You'll also bust a couple of buffs for us. Get us defensive ability, shield bashing walls. That sounds very good to me. I'm gonna go with Guardian, yes. Charisma is apparently extra important to the Chieftain. She's a Chieftain, so that's going to be very important for us to focus on. And then, let's see, Guardian. What's important to you? Cunning, as I imagined. And HP. So, um, Neka to the Tavern, Koali to Charisma, which will be storytelling. Okay, so let's go ahead and inspire some miracles here. Koali, you're going off to Charisma. And Spire Miracle, Neka, you're going off to Heavyweight Drinking. So, it's, um, Nay needs a passive now. A new passive for Nay. So, Nay, let's see, we have... 25% religion HP if this song spit participates. Mm -hmm. Critical performance. Use performance when an ally scores a critical hit. I like the idea of religion HP, though. So... Blessed be Nay. And this will be... Koali. Descendant of Mary. Mighty Rally. Okay, I'm liking everything I'm seeing over here. 
And Mary has come up with one of her last passes more than likely. We have raw chemistry. Use a luring body in the first turn. If there's an enemy nature disciple, it will always trigger. So, in the first turn, we will always do this, assuming there's um, nature disciples. And life date. Use sensual touch in the first turn if there's an enemy with life disciple. I'm gonna go with um, maybe that one, I guess. I mean, obviously, each one has their upside and their downside if you're depending on what party you're fighting, right? So let's just go with that one and see what happens. Where do we want to go? The fact that we didn't, couldn't, we couldn't take over you guys bothers me a little bit, but I'll ignore it because right now we got Mary. She's the heavy hitter. We want to go heavy hitting, so we could get ten more fledgling off of this one. Um, I kind of want to go here. This fabled folklore. That's the one I want to go with. You guys seem to be the most dangerous thing on the map outside, and the ancestor team too. But you seem like the most dangerous one outside of them. So this could be very good. Plus, I like the idea of this fabled folklore stories will be told. Yeah, so I'm gonna go with this one, especially since we still have Mary. So Mary in the middle. You're gonna be going there with your daughter for a fact. Uh, attracted to masculine, feminine, masculine. Mm, unfortunately, we have a fairly feminine heavy party now. Especially if we add Nay. So you know what? I was gonna add Nay to this fight. Not anymore. I'm gonna have to go with Michi to at least keep somebody there that's gonna be masculine. So we have a bit of an edge here. Um, what's good though is they have life. Two of them. And that skill that we put with Mary was for life, so whatever's gonna proc, it should proc here. So let's start this mission off. The fact that there's two skulls kind of worries me a little bit too, I'm not sure what that means, but... Let's see how it goes. Mary, are you gonna do your thing here? It looks like she was, but they put up a wall here. Two walls, as a matter of fact. Sensual touch, that's the one. Not attracted. The shield! Oh my god! No! Well, it would have worked had they not had those shields on, but that's fine. Effective? The ancestors are with the Great One. One of them's infatuated, though. Okay, that's not too bad. Especially with Stubborn Edel being infatuated, that's actually very good. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Koali? Not attracted? Yeah, yeah, I know, that's a problem there. That's the problem with the fact that they're mainly attracted to a male team. Oh! Michi! No, not that one. Okay. Kind of alright. This isn't a bad fight, I'm liking this one a lot. So there's a bit of a challenge here. Especially because we're kind of like, you know... We don't have the advantage because of the freaking attractions that they got going on here. But raw power-wise, I think we're better. They just, um, got a couple of those freaking shields early on that hurt us out. Lock that, okay. This is very close, this is gonna come to the end. One turn left, apparently, too. Can we get 13? I mean, if Mary... Oh, we should get it. Oh, 24, you see, when Mary wants to attack, she could do plenty of freaking damage, but she was focusing the entire fight on, like, trying to infatuate non-attracted individuals. 24, you saw that? That could have been done early in this fight, but no. Mary was apparently playing... Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, I was gonna say, Mary was playing with her prey. She kind of was. Oh, no. Oh, they're a lot stronger for one. And we keep the HP that we lost. Oh, no. Well, we gotta go with Mary. We have to go with Mary. She's... If she hits, she could do plenty of damage. It's a matter of her actually hitting, though, and not triggering the, sedu the seduction. We're gonna have to go with Nay as well, and... What are you... Okay, you know what? Very weak versus life. Oh, you scumbags. You might not... We not, might not have the masculine advantage here. But we have plenty of life. Oh, we're up to 50 now as well. Ooh, okay. All right, let's go, boys. This will be a tough one. We're putting up walls to begin with, okay. Very much like they did with the other squad, we got this. Seduction, no, not seduction, Mary. Oh, nice, nice, keep going. <sighs> it hurts. Okay, I know she's not gonna do too much damage. She's basically a wall, but... Healing on long the way isn't too bad. We did 20 to start off with it. If Mary could just freaking attack, we'd be good. Defy, good, good, good. Nice! Ineffective, very good, very good, NECA. And if NECA attacks and heals, that could be very- No, she's sleepy! RNG, don't do this to me. RNG, Jesus, please. I'm a god, Mary, much like you are. Sleepy, seduction. You know what, if we win, I'm gonna count my, my good luck here, because we've gotten- Oh, no! You got dazed! Broken. <gasps> I think I'm base guy. Nay, you absolute unit. 
You absolute unit, Nay. Nay is like, what was that about um, Mary's, uh, you know, bloodline taking over after she retired? Nay, you know what? You you made your point. You made your point, Nay. We only won this because of Nay. Neka was busy being sleepy. By the way, we need to figure out we can get rid of that because we can't. She's got to go. We can't have that in a fight. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, Mary, I believe it's going to be over for you soon. As a matter of fact, we're out of time with this video. But before we are out of time with this video, I think we, I'm, because I'm going to probably do a little bit of off-camera grinding, so we're ready for taking over the old city at some point sooner than later. Um, we need to see the retirement of Mary. Two hours later. Well, I'm a little bit confused here because um, I thought we'd... I was just grinding fanatics and leveling up my rituals and miracles. Waiting for the retirement to come up. Um, it's year 13. And... Well, Mary is not retired. She's 46, the disciple retires at 45, she's still here. So I don't know. <laughs> it's, just, it's, just, it's just not happening. Her stats are still fairly good too. They're, I mean, they're a lot better than just about everybody. So... I don't know, I thought we'd wait around until she retired, but apparently not, so we're gonna wrap it up here for this one, hope you guys enjoyed it, stick around for the next one, our squad is looking a lot better now, I think I'm understanding the mechanics a bit more too, so honestly, these should be a pushover now if we could get rid of this one here, so once these are out of the loop, old city, we coming, hopefully you guys enjoyed it, if you wanna see some more, keep letting me know in the comments, I will catch you next time.